Hello and welcome to the second video in our series on MCAP cables from Southwire. My name is Dave Watson. I'm a principal applications and consulting engineer. Uh, I work with our applications team and I'm also quite involved in codes and standards activities, uh, including the National Electrical Code on two co-making panels. I'm also involved in a number of standards technical panels within UL and CSA. Uh, as well as a number of other organizations. Uh, in this series of videos, four videos, uh, we're going to cover the history of AC, MC, and MCAP cables, and then go into greater detail regarding the uh, performance of the products, the installation of the products, and then uh, last video will be on two specific variations of the product for our healthcare facilities and for power plus control or signal applications. This particular video is the performance video where we're going to look deeper at the grounding performance of MCAP product. Let's take a look at the ground path for type MC cable in comparison to type AC cable. In that comparison, the type MC cable is going to give you much better performance uh, for, for 10 gauge and 12 gauge conductors, especially in comparison to the type AC cable. Why is that? It's because type MC cable has a, a full size equipment grounding conductor that is taken into the box or device and terminated. Type AC cable relies on the armor plus a small bond wire, 16 gauge bond wire. That bond wire size does not change with the size of the circuit conductor. So therefore, especially in these larger sizes, you're going to see a much better performance on the grounding on type MC cable as compared to type AC cable. So the ground path for conventional MC cable then is a combination of the following. It's that full size equipment grounding conductor sized per NEC table 250.122. So again, as the circuit breaker size goes up, the circuit uh, wire size goes up, then so does the ground size. There is a correlation there. Now, that interlocked armor on type MC cable, it's a part of the ground path, but it's not suitable as a ground path by itself but per NEC requirements, it must be bonded to comply with the NEC sections that we show in this slide. It does not have to be bonded on both ends, but it does have to be bonded and grounded for safety purposes. Now on traditional type MC, the connection of the ground path is a manual mechanical process and it's going to be up to uh, uh, the person that's doing the installation on how well they perform that. So it's going to be subject to uh, potentially a large amount of installation uh, variability. Those grounding equipment conductors, they've got to be spliced together and then bonded to the metal enclosing the circuit conductors. So things like the out metal outlet boxes, conduit, uh, cable armor, they all need to be uh, bonded together. With the equipment grounding conductor in type MC cable, you do end up with a higher box fill and that in and of itself can impact the reliability for both current carrying and grounding conductors. So when you have a number of splices within the box and then you have to install the device into the box, you're increasing the pressure onto these terminations, the stresses, uh, that can sometimes cause them to come apart. So. Another important part of this is that if your grounding connection uh, does experience an, an issue in that situation, that may not be immediately noticeable. You won't know that that's a, happening. So with MCAP cables, it's increasing the grounding reliability. Why? Because we're giving you a consistent and reliable ground path connection. It doesn't rely on every screw or lock nut to be manually tightened. And then furthermore, this can actually carry more ground fault current than a copper grounding conductor. Now, Southwire has other videos on MCAP products uh, available. There are some videos made by our training group recently, 
And in one of the videos, they specifically talk about MCAP cable. They show a test rig that shows what happens in an overcurrent situation. Uh, great video. I suggest that you have a look for that because it will show you conclusively that the MCAP product construction does have the ability to carry more ground fault current than just the copper grounding conductor, and it will therefore um, exercise the breaker more quickly to uh, get that fault current off of the armor as quickly as possible. MCAP cable passes the UL514B current test for fault current. So the combination of the MCAP cable armor, that full-size bare aluminum conductor that's in contact with the armor, snap-in MCI-A rated fittings, and by the way, most fittings available for armored cable today are rated MCI-A and are proper to use for MCAP cable, MC cable, and AC cable all. So this all has to pass this UL514B current testing. So you have 470 amps on 12 gauge, 750 amps on 10 gauge for four seconds. As a note, 12 gauge copper grounding conductor fuses at 500 amps for four seconds. So in comparison to the uh, MCAP product when utilized with the, um, the MCI-A fittings and the metal box actually provides you with more capability than the 12 gauge copper grounding conductor. A few notes about the equipment grounding conductor. That bare aluminum wire that is underneath the armor, it can only be used as a part of the NEC recognized equipment grounding conductor. You cannot use that as a phase or neutral conductor. There are some cable constructions where you do have that ability to choose whether you're going to use it as a grounding conductor or something else, but this is not the, the way in this product. As opposed to type AC cable, for MCAP cable, it's very important, the aluminum wire is cut flush with the armor when you're applying the MCI-A fitting. You don't wrap it back around the armor. Again, we'll cover that in more detail in the next video. Um, and again, make sure that the fittings are UL listed as MCI-A. That's very easy to do nowadays. So we see an evolution in the performance of these products. Uh, we talked about this a bit in the first video. Initially, you had type AC cable that came out over 100 years ago. Then we went to type MC cable, which offered you that improved grounding performance when compared to type AC cable. Then we have MCAP cable that further improves by uh, maintaining that increased grounding performance of type MC cable but it's also reducing the number of grounding terminations and therefore increasing the reliability of the grounding, uh, decreasing the box fill, et cetera. It's a more efficient installation. Thank you for joining us for the second video in our series on MCAP cables. The next video will cover MCAP installation. This is a critical video, especially for installers and inspectors. So hope that you uh, carry on to have a look at that video and thank you for joining us.